Trendsetters! Greg here from Rich Bay Films and welcome back to the BNSF Birdwood Sub and episode 18 of the Birdwood Sub Construction. And here we have a little bit more scenery trendsetters. Well, it's a plywood bridge, you know. So, uh, this is our long awaited update. Not a lot's been happening on the sub. Uh, a few things have been happening off the sub, but a little bit long, so uh, this will be a quick update, so let's get into it. Right, here we are on the top yards. This is Wells Hill Yards. And these are a little bit smaller than the yards underneath, or the West Birdwood. Uh, but you know, that's how it is. Top level's always a little bit skinnier. And this is the skinniest part of the layout here. Or the yards, I should say. And there'll be two tracks through here. This is the main line. And two leads coming out here. The rest of the yards will be back that way. So I was wondering how to disguise this little bit of a problem here with people knocking things and it's really close to the edge here. So I thought, I'll put a bridge in here. Well, this is falling down already, Trent says. There we go. And that way I can have a bit of a uh, fascia here and raise it above the level so we don't knock things. And then bring it down slowly down here somewhere where we have a bit more room. And I thought, well, I'll just whack a bridge across at Trent Now I've always wanted a level crossing because I work on real level crossings. So why not have one at home? Or grade crossings, as you call them. And the road will come across here Grey crossing here, flashing lights. And then somehow I'll do something tricky and put it in a mirror and take it off on the back there somewhere. So that's a little, little mock-up here of what's been happening here. So I think, um, I think that'll work out really well. And the main line pokes out here and goes back into a tunnel over here and then comes there. So it's only visible for a little bit. Then it shoots off into the long tunnel down here. Now, as I said, I haven't been very busy on the layout, but I have been busy off the layer, weathering cars or practicing. And I'll be coming up with my part three on my uh, weathering hoppers shortly. So in part three of my weathering series, I'll be looking at using pan pastel powders, as I said in the part two. And I've been practicing a lot with them and I'm getting more uh, confident with them. So when I get a few more cars done, I will put one together and that'll be the next series on weathering. You can see some are done there few different styles, you know, it's just a lot of practice. And when I'm happy enough with the results, I shall do a video. So that'll be coming up, part three of my Weathering Hopper series, in a few weeks. Now Trent says, you're not going to believe this, but look, lights. How long has it been? Two years? Nearly three years? So I finally found some LED strip lights that I'm happy with. They're all crap, they're all made in the same factory, but you just got to take a gamble. These are sort of mid-priced. Uh, they have Scotch 3M backing tape. That's probably the thing that swayed me on it. And they're supposed to be Cree LEDs. Who knows? But these are uh, a warm white. Now I chose warm white because uh, they give a, a more sunlight effect. And you can dim these with the right dimmer. And they'll be going up on a little metal uh, channel up behind the fascia up here. And they're really good. I like LEDs because they give you more of a shadow than a fluorescent light. Now you may think, well that's just stupid. But for recreating the sun, I like it better because you get shadows outside. Fluorescent, fluorescent lights tend to wash everything out, no shadows. Uh, if you've ever seen a, a fish tank, I used to do salt water fish tanks, we used to put um, uh, metal halide lights, these LEDs now, over the coral. And all the coral, you get all the shadows from the coral, it's beautiful. But you put a fluoro over a fish tank, it just wipes it out. Very similar with a layer. The LEDs really give you some nice shadows. Not, not as much as a uh, incandescent bulb or a uh, halogen, but they do give you more shadows in a fluoro and you can dim them and I really like them, trim surface. Now don't fall off your chair, West Birdwood's got lights as well. Now underneath West Birdwood Yards is our dry distill or DDG grain facility. And it comes out to the main line out here. And as you know, I've been getting more and more frustrated with using this foam underlay, or having used it since I've switched over to cork uh, from the top of the helix and all the top level. So I've had it with the foam. I think I will replace all the foam where you can see the track. Now there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I just don't like that it's not uh, supportive enough. And I can't use spikes because the spikes are too short and they don't hold in the foam. 
and I don't like gluing track down straight away. So this is all going, this will be replaced with cork. And I'll replace this Pico turnout with another Tillig uh, so I can have a heelless turnout on the main and I can switch it with a uh, the oh, switch machine. So that'll be coming out shortly, all being redone, and then I can get my tracks into the DDG facility. And also what's happening, Trendsetters, this is the track that comes out of uh, West Birdwood Yard, the, the arrival and departure track off the main line. I've never been happy with the alignment of this curved turnout here. Somehow I, I measured it wrong and I had to do a little bit of a dog leg here and it's been driving me crazy. And as you can see, this is all on foam as well. So the next job after the entrance to the grain for the uh, dry still grain facility is to rip up all of this, this whole section here, and put it on cork as well. Why not? Trendsetters, there you go. Quick update on the Birdwood sub. As I say, not a lot happening, but a lot's been happening off the sub with weathering and practicing and all that sort of thing. Also, I've got a, a rather big announcement coming up soon. Uh, it'll be in the next uh, maybe a couple of videos. And also, a few people have been asking where I've been and because uh, I haven't done a layout update. Well, I've been inside uh, doing my weathering and practicing that. So, thank you for asking where I was. Someone even suggested that I went and got married. Do I look stupid? 
Sorry, sorry, girls. No, no, no. I only joke. I only joke. Marriage is a wonderful institution. So, so I'm not quite ready to live in an institution yet. That's all. So. All right. Joking, girls. Joking. We love you all. You love you, love you. The day that I'm ready to get married, I will. Then I can hand all my stuff over to someone who I hate. But I'm not ready for that sort of happiness yet. So there you go. Now that all the girls are left, come back, come back, I'm only, only joking. Oh, fair idea. Uh, actually, I've been, um, not real well, I've been diagnosed with George's disease. Uh, now, don't panic, it's not life-threatening or uh, anything like that, but it is a little bit debilitating. Those of you who don't know what George's disease is, it's uh, when someone like myself has George Clooney's taste in women, but George Costanza's chance of getting any. So there you go, George's disease. That's a fish play films first. You won't hear it anywhere else, trendsetters. You heard it here. George's disease, spread it around. I want to see it. I want, to, I want someone to come and tell me that joke. I do. I love it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I need a cup of tea. Anyway, big news coming up soon. Uh, I'm going HD soon. Ho ho, I bought a new camera and uh, I'm still learning how to use it. It's huge. It's going to take me back to my photography roots. Uh, with all its manual stuff and it's a whole new world of uh, videoing so I'm really looking forward to that so that's that will be down the track a little bit so we've got a few more coming in standard definition before we go HD I decided this high definition thing may just take off no I don't know yet so anyway that's about it for this um, update I know it's short and sweet but as I say there's a lot more track work to be done on the sub re relaying and all that sort of thing and we're slowly getting there with a little bit of scenery train setups you know you can't rush these things. So take care and we'll see you with a uh, weathering update very soon with powders and another special announcement. So, all right, thanks for watching and hooray for now from the blue, it's up. Bye-bye.